Welcome to our snooze news. And by the way, this is take five. <laughs> by the way, that's not abnormal with her. Take five no. is a short. Today I'm on road. a level. <laughs> yes. Well, today we wanted to talk about support and why not all mattresses are created equal when it comes to the support that you find. Thank God you said mattresses. There's, there's a lot of other items we can talk about when it comes to support. But we're going to focus on mattresses. We're going to focus mattresses. on mattresses. Okay, so what does support mean? Uh, the best way people describe support is by using very few words, soft or firm. When they say these things, they actually believe that they're talking about the support of the mattress, how they feel. So like a firm mattress, they think means they have to have a firm mattress to be more supportive. Exactly, right? Most folks make the biggest mistake when they are laying on a mattress that is unsupportive for whatever reason, right? And when you think about what I just said, most of the consumers think unsupportive means soft. Like dip and, Right, yeah. that's not true. So we'll, let, let's show this, for example, right? Put that back the way it was because I think the camera can see it better. So here's the top of the mattress. Here are two products that are on top of the spring. If your mattress is what I would call dead, unsupportive, all of this product is still in it, but it has no resiliency, it has no support. So when you sit on this, you basically bottom out. So it would like, right? Yeah. So if that's the case, almost. if that's the case, okay, collapse is a good word, your body will be so close to the coil that it would feel firm, right? And usually you would come to the store and go, I want something soft. Well, that's a mistake. The reason you're feeling firm is because of lack of support. It doesn't mean you want to go to the other extreme. So this, the integrity of this actually keeps the integrity of this? No. Okay. The integrity of both is the quality and the quantity. And there lies really the difference between us and other people. So these two coils, let's forget the top for the moment, are different. I don't know if the camera can see, but the diameter of this coil is much smaller than the diameter of this coil. Okay? Can we see that? Very good. So, there is more steel here than there is here. Number one, this is one inch less than that, and you have eight turns of a steel in this coil, and you have five and a half coil turns, I'm sorry, six and a half coil turns here. So you have less steel, you have less height. Mm -hmm. So most people would think, oh my God, that's not as good. Wrong. For someone like me, I cannot lay on this coil. It's too much support. It will hurt me. It's too firm almost. It would be too much support. Too much support. Mm -hmm. Let's not use the word firm or soft for a simple reason because those are incorrect words to use when you want to buy a mattress. Okay. You want something that is soft to the touch. It will always have the support. And you want something that is firm to the touch of your body and it will always have the support. Well, and this is why it is important that when you are shopping for a mattress that you do come to a place like Texas Mattress Makers because I know I'm working here and even I get some, sometimes confused with what's thrown out there. Like I need a firmer mattress. I don't need a firmer mattress. No. I just need the right support for my body. And that's why we're... Right. And that's why you, you, I mean, what you just said is perfect. I need a firmer mattress. No. No one needs a firmer mattress. Everyone needs a supportive mattress. Now, this will support your body. This coil, by the way, is meant to hold upwards of 18,000 pounds. This is not a joke. I want you to think in concept. 18,000 pounds. What is pounds. that? Like a That's like the floor. But it has a ride. It actually bends. Okay. Okay? So when you'll sit on it, you will push this maybe 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch down, like this. Mm -hmm. Once you go to your laying position, the coil doesn't even know you're on it. It will never flex down. Okay. Where this coil, if everything is equal, would, right? Yes. So this coil will feel plusher or softer to your body. This coil will feel firmer. What makes you firm or soft is actually what's here. on top. And here, which is also different with us, is we do not cheat. We don't cheat on the quality of the product. We tell our customers the longevity, the quantity of the product in the bed, 
but the quality is always the same. Always the same. Mm -hmm. Remember, our customers are buying a mattress, right? They don't see what you see. They see it's a blind item. Well, and we actually do let them see. Always. Which is important because so that we make it to where they can. They're exactly. not blind walking in. Exactly. And as we said before, if you wake up in the morning, you have backache, you have hip ache, you actually have inner thigh ache or knee ache, you have shoulder ache, shoulder blade ache. Most of those things are caused by an unsupported mattress, meaning too soft mm -hmm. or too firm. If it's the top of your shoulder, the back of your neck, and your head, that usually is the lack of support, too soft, too firm, and the wrong size pillow. Yeah. And that also we will show you how to gauge on a new mattress. But we don't We don't. We do sell not sell pillows. pillows because we can't ever get to a place where we know what is the differential between your shoulder sinking into the bed and the difference of your cheek from the bed, but we will show you, and you probably have the pillow at home anyway, you don't need to buy a new one. I promise. Well, and it's important to know we don't sell a pillow because we sell what we make. Because we... Correct. We are the experts at making mattresses. We know everything that there is in that mattress, and we know the cause and effect that it will have on your body and support. Correct. So to kind of close it, a soft mattress is not necessarily good. A firm mattress is not necessarily good. And if your mattress at home feels too soft, too firm, your mattress, meaning the top of your mattress, is dead. It has nothing holding you up. It just looks like it's working, but it's not. So what you need to do is you come over here, and remember this, if your mattress feels too firm, don't go to the stores, one of our stores, and say, I want something soft. Tell them, how old is your mattress? Mm -hmm. Why do you feel the way you feel? What kind of feel would you like to have? And let us do our job. And then, you're the boss, you pick and choose whichever one you like to have. And speaking about support, I do want to mention a certain video that we put out this week. Noah, who you haven't met yet, maybe, you, maybe you've seen him on one of the day shows. Not if he continues doing what you're about to talk about. <laughs> they won't meet him. My brother, his son. I think he put out a beautiful video of showing the support of our mattresses. And we're actually going to let you guys see that. <laughs> and I really wish you could be watching his reaction during it. <laughs> what do you think it's like to work at a mattress store? What it's really like. Like when he was five years old. The kid doesn't grow up. Oh, I thought it was a fantastic video. Well, Look, it was a fantastic video. We're connecting video. with Generation Z. Generation what? <laughs> generation what? He can't even say? do millennials. <laughs> what, what's Generation Z? What age is Generation Z? Z. Z for Zion. Uh, Z for uh, Zion. <clears throat> Zion. No. Oh, yeah. I don't no. want to meet him. <laughs> no, no. Um... Generation Z. Do you what want are to we going backwards in the alphabet? <laughs> backwards in the alphabet. What's wrong with you people? I got a 32-year-old boy running on mattresses <laughs> like a goat on a hill. But he also did a very good job of showing what it was like to also, you know, work at a mattress store. Well, you asked me, what I, well, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, he's been in it Would you all like to life. try it? No. <laughs> I thought he did a good job of, like, running only on the foot guards. <laughs> That's because he knew better, <laughs> you know? He, he does understand there is a fear of death here. Up on top of I will say, though, we do not sell mattresses to be run. We do not encourage you to run on the mattress, and it will void your warranty. Once you, <laughs> once you came to one of our fine stores and dealt with our nice, with our nice uh, employees, and you have bought it, and it was delivered to your home, you can do whatever you want. Jump on it. Run on it. Heck, stand it up against the wall and run against it. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, but please do read the bottom part. <laughs> you cannot urinate on the mattress and tell me you got a stain and then tell me I did something wrong. You can't have dinner on it and then spill your Coke, I'm... wine, or your mashed potatoes and say, we don't understand why it smells like a kitchen. 
you can't take the thing and bend it over like you were going to eat a sandwich and then ask me why it's not straight any longer. You cannot, and I mean cannot, this is from true story, put your horse on it and then come back and say the thing collapsed and I don't know what to do with it. Here's what the warranty does cover. Anything that I have done it will cover. All the workmanship it will cover. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and we will not cover shipping because I don't know if you were kind to buy it and then move to uh, bum somewhere, Louisiana, and then you want me to come and fix it. Though I like Louisiana. Anything oh, no, else? no. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Whenever, whenever, whenever you're ready, Christian. No, no, we are not talking. Who? Welcome to our snooze news. We're starting over. Welcome to our snooze news. Welcome to our snooze news. Welcome to our snooze news. And which episode is this? Number? No, I don't. It's in the 60s, honey. 67. I can't. I can't. Okay, breathe and start talking. Yeah, you do breathe, don't you? <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, next time we will have a competition and we'll make you ball run on the mattress. Uh, Rachel will bust her butt between <laughs> the first two mattresses. No, we we'll win. Okay. I, I I saw that stride. It was good. You saw it was that? Impressive. Huh? It was impressive. And by the way, if they saw the video, noticed how the mattresses didn't bounce as he's running Supportive. on Supportive. Supportive. <laughs> oh, no. Rough sexual activity. Okay, we're done. Hold on. <laughs> To the edge of the bed and pull on it and then expect the edge to be straight. Okay, so on now, that note, it's besides been a pleasure. That, 